host, Tatelicious Karigambe Sandberry. Today on the show, I am talking about HIV and AIDS. And as you know, most of the people who follow me on Facebook and all my social media platforms, they know that I'm HIV positive myself and I've been living with the virus for more than 18 years. So being a of HIV, I really want to take you, all of you, you know, explaining what HIV is and AIDS, you know, so that we get to know what it is. HIV is human immunodeficiency virus and HIV is a virus, not a disease. You may hear that someone is HIV infected, has HIV infection or has HIV disease. These are all terms that mean the person has HIV in his or her body and can pass the virus to other people. HIV attacks the body's immune system. The immune system protects the body from infectious and disease, but has to protect it from HIV. Without treatment, most people infected with HIV become less able to fight off the germs that we are exposed to every day. Many of these gems do not usually make healthy people sick, but they can cause life-threatening infections and cancers in a person whose immune system has been weakened by HIV. Let's talk about treatments. HIV treatments can slow this process and allow people with HIV to live longer, healthier lives, and also we see people infected with HIV may have no symptoms for 10 or more years. They may, they may not know if they are infected. An HIV test is the only way to find out that you are HIV. You hear most of the people, they say, oh, that person looks like he or she has HIV. Oh, you know, th those kind of words are harsh and discriminatory. The only thing which proves that someone is HIV positive is through an HIV test. And I will go on to explain also what is meant by AIDS. The abbreviations of AIDS, it's, uh, A stands for acquired, I is immune, D stands for deficiency, and uh, S stands for syndrome. And uh, you can see that AIDS is a late stage of HIV disease. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, a person with HIV infection is AIDS when he or she, I'm going to give the attributes when someone who is defined as an AIDS defining patient. Number one, the CD4 cell count, a way to measure the strength immune system that falls below 200. A normal CD4 cell count is 500 or higher. So you would see that if someone has got a CD4 count which is below 200, this is an AIDS defining patient. And also we can see another defining uh, AIDS patient is it develops of uh, any specific or serious conditions, also called AIDS defining illnesses that are linked with HIV infection. And you could see that these infections are like a uh, herpes, uh, you know, these infections also can be like gonorrhea, syphilis. These are the infections which can be AIDS defining in infections. So you can see now how we can define AIDS and how we can define HIV. And remember, the key, key concepts of the notes is HIV is a virus and AIDS is a disease. And most of the people do not know that uh, AIDS is a later stage of HIV. When HIV is not treated and when someone who is, you know, HIV positive is not adhering to an, uh, the medicine, the ARVs, then they become having that disease called AIDS. You know, with those issues of HIV and AIDS, we don't need to rush when we are teaching each other. And one thing I have learned about these issues is to really take the information 
match and adapt and simulate it into our brains. So for today, I have to call it off and join me again next week. The same talk show, Life with Tatalicious, as I am delving deep with the HIV and AIDS issues. And it's been so enlightening because we have to be equipped with knowledge. From me, Tatalicious Karigambe and the crew behind the scenes. It's bye for now. We love you so much. And Makati Koshera.